Hi everyone and welcome to Horn 250's hunting channel. This evening I've had a phone call off of one of the farms that I shoot on and the farmers asked me if I could come over and try and take out some rabbits on this farm that you saw me shoot on some of my videos last spring. Uh, the rabbit numbers are back here again and they're doing a lot of damage and undermining his hedgerows and just basically causing a lot of problems here for him. Um, I've also recorded some of the footage to show you some of the damages that's being done here to show you the reason why I'm actually shooting these rabbits. Now we're, in, we're having a bit of a cold snap this week so uh, we'll just have a go and see how we get on. I'm hoping to see a few rabbits out feeding but I'll just make the best out of the weather and see what we can do. Okay let's get straight to the action and see how we get on. Sit down, relax and I hope you all enjoy this video. Having made my way into the first field, up ahead I've spotted the first rabbit of the evening and I'm starting to make my way in. And the rabbit sees my approach and stops and looks at me so I pause for a moment to let it go back feeding. Once it settles I continue my way forward where I'm trying to get to this gatepost to take a steady shot as this rabbit's out to about 70 yards. Once in position, I shoulder the rifle and take a nice steady aim here. But that rabbit's further than I thought. It's 75 yards. So I adjust my aim accordingly and aim for a heart and lung shot here. And that pellet finds its mark perfectly. And down goes the first rabbit of the evening. there we have it. That was a nice 75 yard shot that you just saw me take there. Nice clean kill. I had to give it half a mil dot of aim off to the right and a full mil dot uh, hold over and I've hit him straight through his chest, through the vital organs, in and it's come straight out the other side just there and killed this rabbit nice and cleanly. So uh, that's a good shot from that distance and I'll just show you now exactly where I was so you can see just how far that is. I was up by this gate just there. So you can see that's a good distance for an FAC rated air rifle there. Okay let's go get some more. But before continuing forward, something that I always do now is I gut my rabbits immediately after I've shot them as to save the gut tainting the meat. And once I've got it prepared, I'll stick him in the bag and we'll move off to another field and see if we can get some more. And as I'm making my way to the field, I just wanted to take a moment to show you briefly the reason why I'm shooting these rabbits. As you can see here they're seriously undermining the hedgerows and this is just one small field that I'm showing you here. This, this is happening all over this farm and the rabbits are really causing a lot of damage here and if they was left to their own devices it wouldn't be long before all these hedges would collapse resulting in the farmers cattle breaking out. So this is the reason why I'm trying to control their numbers on this particular farm. So now I've shown you some of the damages that are being done here, we'll move on to the next field. And I've just spotted the second rabbit of the evening and I'm slowly starting to make my way down this embankment. And I suddenly check behind myself to make sure that I'm not silhouetting myself against the background sky. But that tree that's directly behind me is covering my approach as I make my way in. So I just continue forward nice and slowly. Once I get to this position here, I've estimated myself out to about 50 yards here. And I shoulder the rifle and take aim. 
but I realise that there's not enough of the rabbit's head exposed at this point as there's a concrete pad obscuring my view. So I decided to push myself down a little further in where I get myself to within about 40 yards here for a clearer shot. And I sent the crosshairs on the back of this rabbit's spine hoping for the penetration to go straight through its heart and lungs. And the shot's perfect and kills the rabbit nice and cleanly. That's number two in the bag. And I make my way forward here to collect the rabbit you just saw me shoot and I'll gut it before popping it into the game bag. And that'll be the last rabbit I'm getting this evening. I don't know if it's this cold snap or if there's a fox working the grounds in front of me but the rabbits just ain't out in the numbers that I was expecting this evening. But that's how it goes sometimes out in the hunting field. You don't always come away with a massively full bag. And sometimes it's just about the experience also. There we have it. That concludes our hunt for this evening now. So uh, I haven't had the biggest bag in the world, just the two rabbits tonight. But it's given me an opportunity to see where the rabbits are sort of uh, congregating on the farm now and where they're doing most damage. So I'll come back and hit this farm again now the next couple of evenings, see how we get on. So all I'm going to do now is skin me two rabbits ready for the table. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, episode of me out hunting rabbits this evening and uh, hopefully I'll get a bit more the next time I come here. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy shooting to you all. Bye for now.